welcome to as a matter of fact you are really indeed our great supporter and we want to thank you for taking off your time to watch our channel you are welcome today we're going to be walk uh, today we're going to be talking about something rather not very usual of the of the war in DRC that we have you know always talked about that we promised that we shall be talking about in a number of series but today we have something very special and this is something to do with Tanzania we're going to be speaking about Tanzanian president Suluhu Samia cancelling their Independence Day celebrations sit relax and enjoy the show <music> Tanzania is a unique, very hard to understand country in our region of East Africa. It is a country that does its things in silence, but these things usually make impact to an extent that they come out and, you know, get known. They, uh, there is a way they do their things as though they are not serious, but sometimes you're all caught and aware and you're like, okay, we didn't expect that. It started with the, their ex-president, Pombe Magufuli, who denied and refuted the allegations of COVID-19. For him, he said his country was never going to go on a lockdown because of COVID-19 because as an individual, he believed that COVID-19 was a hoax. Eventually, it was rumored that COVID-19 is the one that, you know, killed the president of Tanzania. Well, it wasn't publicized so much, but that's what went in the corridors of news that he succumbed to COVID-19. Tanzania made news globally. The president made news globally. And they were talk of the entire continent. They were talk of the entire world. While other people were un in strict lockdowns, not moving, not doing what, scared, Tanzania did not lock down their country. Tanzania remained working. Their economy continued running. Does this, does this mean that there was no COVID? That is a question between me and you. Is it that there was no COVID in Tanzania and yet it was in Uganda, Rwanda, and Kenya? They are neighbors. It is a question that still lingers on people's minds. Now, this very week, the president of the mighty Tanzania, Samia, came out and cancelled their 61st Independence Day celebrations. Amazing. During the reign of Pombe Magufudi, the same thing happened. Pombe Magufudi cancelled the Independence Day celebrations and channeled the budget to something else. I think he channeled the budget to construct one of the roads within the city. And this was welcomed by a multitude of people who are pro-development, who don't want, you know, just the country that just spends money anyhow. Now, it is an era of a, an iron lady, it is an era of a female president, and President Samia has done the same. Samia cancelled the celebrations of the 61st Independence Day of Tanzania, which was scheduled to take place this Friday. 
And today is, it's, it's what we're going to look at, what it communicates to the neighboring countries, and what it means to the economy of Tanzania. We're going to be reading from uh, uh, an article. Uh, we're going to be reading from an article in the Washington Post. And it is, it is entitled, Tanzania's President Cancels Independence Day Celebrations. And this was ousted on, this was released, or this was published on 6th December 2022 at 5 8 East African time. It reads Tanzanian, Tanzania's President Samia Suruhu Hassan has cancelled Independence Day celebrations scheduled for Friday and directed that the budget instead be used to build dormitories for children with special needs. We said during the reign of Pombe Magufudi, he channeled the money to construct a given road in the, in the city. And now, this time around, Samia has uh, instructed that the money be channeled to build dormitories for children with special uh, needs. Okay. The 61st Independence Day event was to cost... 445,000 US dollars. That is mammoth money. That is a lot of money that will be used to build eight dormitories in primary schools around the country. Amazing. Amazing. You see, this should serve as an eye opener to the countries that surround Tanzania. Tanzania is trying to prove to you that there is nothing much in celebrations when there are people that are in need, when there are children that are in need, when there are girls that need sanitary pads, when there are people that are roitering on the streets, street kids and other people that don't have jobs. But you get a mammoth amount of, a magn of the magnitude of approximately 450,000 US dollars and just throw it on a party, if I may call it. Throw it on a celebration for the sake of celebrating. We all understand we, that uh, this is a, an, a borrowed ideology from the whites, celebrating things that we sometimes don't even believe in, celebrating you know, days that we sometimes don't need to celebrate uh, when the other you know, pressing issues. Now, Tanzania is serving as an eye-opener and the president ordered that the money that was meant to be used to, uh, to, to be used during the, the Independence Day celebrations be channeled to cater for the dormitories for the kids with special needs. What a gesture. We continue. Tanzania Minister of State John Simbachawene said money had been disbanded. He said the East African country will celebrate Independence Day by having a public dialogue on development. You know, instead of getting this mammoth money, spending it on the Independence Day celebrations, the country is just going to have a dialogue on development, a dialogue which can be broadcast on TV for you know, the entire country to watch or different channels through which they can make sure that people catch this dialogue. Usually, Independence Day celebrations are marked with pomp and state banquet. That is very true, especially in uh, most of the neighboring countries. This is not, however, the first time Tanzania has, co has canceled celebrations. In 2015, the president of Tanzania, John Pombe Magufuli, canceled the celebration and diverted funds towards building, ro building a road in the commercial capital, Dar es Salaam. In 2020, he did the same and directed that the budget be used to buy medical facilities. The current president, Hassan, is Tanzania's female head of state, currently the only, you know, blah, 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 blah. Hassan previously drew attention by ordering big buried policemen 
to lose weight before effective, before to be more effective at work. You know, <laughs> mystery surrounds Tanzania and their president. You know, she started, uh, of course, uh, having been uh, the deputy or the vice president of Tanzania uh, during Magufuli. So we can say that she has learned a thing or two from uh, her predecessor. Uh, but um, as an individual also, I think she carries those traits. Uh, at one point she ordered, like the article says, she ordered all big buried, uh, big bellied uh, police officers to ensure that they cut their weight for them to be able to be effective at their jobs. In other words, it's so meant that if you're a policeman and you're fat, you're, you, you're chubby, you're fetish, you are overweight, you are meant to work out as much as possible to fit what the president is talking about. Now here she comes, counseling uh, the Independence Day celebrations, channeling the funds for something that we would presume to be fundamental and developmental. She also preserved her predecessor's stance on contraceptives by urging Tanzanians to embrace, embrace family planning. Magufuli discouraged any use of contraceptives in Tanzania. Wow. Wow. You know, it, it, it seems as though uh, Samia works on the script of Magufuli. Where Magufuli stopped, Samia has picked up and continued to do things that wow the neighbors. Why other countries are throwing parties, why other countries are going ahead to celebrate everything, every single day, every single you know, day that they think is important for them. They make the budget that would have gone to that particular event and then channels it to something developmental, something that is going to add value the following day to someone somewhere. Because the thing is, if you celebrate, let's say, independence, it is one day, but you've spent over a billion on it. What does it add on you? Nothing. People will just come, eat, talk, laugh, you know, have all sorts of entertainment and go back. But if you construct a road, if you use that money to maybe build, to, to, to go and uh, have some boils somewhere, if you use that money to construct, let's say, a classroom, you would have added something onto someone's life tomorrow. And that is a big lesson that Tanzania is giving to its neighbors, to use money, to use the country coffers, to use the country monies where they should be used. We thought that today we should talk about that because it was something wowing, it was something worth talking about because we said, as a matter of fact, that we dedicate ourselves to giving you news and information that is constructive to our society, that is constructive to our region and Africa at large. Thanks for watching, as a matter of fact. You're welcome to subscribe to this channel. If you feel that our information, our data, our facts that we bring you are important to your life, add something onto your life, please subscribe to this channel, like, comment, share to a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend that as a matter of fact is the place to be. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button such that you can be reminded whenever we put a new video. Much love.